been time to do a constitutional silver update. So let's do this. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So it's been a while since I've done a constitutional silver update and I don't have a lot. I know a lot of people, it's the base of their stack and I can see why they do that, being that it's very affordable. And it's something that her and I often chase after a little bit and then we back off and start going with ASEs again and then the fancy stuff we like and then some nice Morgans and all. So, you know, I can't really focus a lot of my money on constitutional silver, but I can tell you this. Then when that monster box is filled, this will be one of the directions we start hitting a little bit more hard at because, you know, I've got a separation between what I think is my junk silver and what I think is my BU junk silver. And I've had a video once called BU junk silver and everything here is stuff I really didn't even pay an extra lot of money. I mean, they've been, been in prior videos. Here's a roll of BU 1921 Morgans. They're all beautiful, each one of them, just gorgeous. And I paid 350 bucks for the roll. Then I decide, hey, I want a peace dollar BU roll. Everyone knows I got the whole 28 Mint Mark set in the Dance Go album. Beautiful collection of 24 pieces there. But I also just wanted a side roll of peace dollars that looked very nice as well. And there's a couple in here that can use upgrades and I'll probably do that down the road and get this whole roll looking very, very nice. What I don't have to do is the same thing with this roll, this roll, and this roll. Those Franklins, <laughs> they just shine to no tomorrow. One of your first like, videos you did about them. This was my second video I had done on YouTube were on these. In 1963, Philadelphia, and they're just gorgeous. And they were $145 a roll. You know, that's only 14.5 times face, you know, at that at that point. So why not go after them for that kind of money? And I'll show you another one because this one's from Denver. I have two of the rolls from Denver. Every one of these things just shine, shine, shine. Beautiful. And then we put together a couple of rolls of 64 Kennedys that we thought the same thing. They're just beautiful. So we made a couple BU rolls of these. And really, we didn't, you know, have to pay anything extra. It was just basically what 12 times face at the time, back before the poo poo hit the fan. And they're just gorgeous as well. So, love them. Been really liking Kennedy 64s of late. So, then I've got some Cole Morgans down here, and I got another two rolls of Kennedys here, a roll of Benjis, a roll of Walking Liberties, and then two more Dinger rolls of 64. So, starting to really get some decent amount of 64s. I'm chasing halves more than anything else. Partial tube of my next one going. Two full rolls of quarters, partial of Standing Liberties, and a partial of Washingtons. And then there's all my Mercs and Rosies. Don't have a ton of it. I actually pass out a lot of Mercury dimes whenever we mail off to anyone. I always do that for first time mail outs, give them a Merc dime. So that's where a lot of my Mercury dimes go to. But really, as you can tell, I sort of like my nice clean pile of coins. And then, you know, this is, well, junk silver. Junk silver. <laughs> so things changed a little bit because I went down to Tennessee, saw a friend, sold me a couple of rolls of things, went ahead. And bought another roll of Franklin's. So he goes up there with him. I'll just put him in that row. And then another roll of Kennedy's because I can never have enough Kennedy's. So my halves are starting to get somewhere. And for my LCS, and this is a beaut right here. This will be a surprise. We'll do this at the end of the video. I almost forgot about this, but we knew of it. So we got the album out. We knew it was sticking in there. Last minute, I can't get it out of there. Got that too. Yeah, well, we're not going to put that in that. We're going to put the older one in that. 
Look at that. Doesn't have the box or the COA, but a George Washington commemorative half. He sold this to me for seven bucks. I mean, fantastic. And this is in much better condition than the one that I have in my typeset album. So upgrade time. We'll get that album out here in a second and pop that in there. But then, I don't know, I'm about six shy of another roll of uh, Kennedy halves. So I'm really starting to do decently on my halves. I mean, if you count all these halves and then these five rolls up here, I'm starting to get a decent amount of 50 cent pieces. And then one last thing when it comes to my constitutional silver. I paid a little bit extra from these from my friend Steve Rice. But an absolutely gorgeous set of mostly 64 Washington quarters. Again, fitting that BU theme that I really like. And since I've got dollars, halves, well, it only makes sense to start chasing after a full roll of quarters. So those will find a nice home up there because they are very nice looking quarters. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And so we'll probably, after this video is done, go through these and see if we can't find any more BU examples so I can shift them up there and get my clean silver going again, which I love so well. So why don't we return here in a second and we'll upgrade this. There it is. Upgrade within the typeset. Put that one in there. It is in much better condition than that one. So a definite upgrade for my typeset. And normally I do typeset videos when I have four or five coins. I have not been getting any coins from my typeset of late. So an occasional upgrade, I just might attach it to a video like this. And one other thing, one more thing. I normally don't collect a lot of 40% Kennedys. And one of the reasons is there's a lot of copper and it takes up a lot of space and I'm going after 64 Kennedys. At one time I used to have a bunch and everyone knows that I might have traded that in for gold at one time. Well, I've depleted myself of 40 percenters and it is a crowd favorite. A lot of people like them. They make great gauze. So I was down on my last two tubes, a 68 BU and a 69 BU. And we have those because those are our birth years and started digging into those about seven coins each. And it was like, ah, you know, I really, I at least want to keep a roll for ourselves. So my LCS happened to be selling these things for $2 and 15 cents a piece. I was like, how many you got? He's like 39. So I bought all 39 of them because it's such a great price. It's under melt. And I went ahead and replenished the seven each. Took the best ones out and tried to make them as good of BU as I can. And that way I have the rest of these away for giveaways. All these will be gone and it probably won't take too long. But they're an excellent gift. They are silver. I do have an appreciation for these things. Don't think I don't like 40 percenters. I made this into gold one time. And so if the price is right on these 40 percenters, absolutely. And I would love to hunt through half dollars if I had the time and find me some free 40 percenters because usually the majority of them that are found in boxes are 40 percenters but yeah i still have a good appreciation for this coin i just especially when they're two dollars and 15 cents so there you go everyone there's my constitutional update a junk silver update a 40 percent update even threw a little typeset in there for you that's going to bring this one to a close remember to like subscribe and all those other good things we'll see you on the next video Bye, everyone.